Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I keep saying I'm not going to open mini brands, mini bows anymore, but then I find some fun ones. Um, these are the retro mini brands, and uh, I look forward to getting some great ones. So we're not going to wait too long. We're just going to get right into these. Um, hopefully these open relatively easy. I always tend to struggle and end up making a mess. I actually found these today at Walmart. I've been looking for the Gross Mini Ball Series 2, actually. All right, let's see. Get five. There's the checklist. And uh, I don't think there's anything like super, super cool. Um, frozen Moments, I never do very good with, but I would really love. Maybe the Frosted Flakes would be cool. I do like, as an older person, some of these classic books. Uh, Kodak was a big part of my life as a child. I live in uh, Rochester, New York, which is actually where Kodak originated. I live right down the street from the museum, which was the former house of George Eastman, the uh, founder and creator of all the Kodak products. So here's our first item. Wow, this is a very shiny Pringles potato chips container. And it says chips. I don't think typically, I don't think Pringles says chips anymore. New angled. All right, so there's our first item. Let's see, this is very thin and small. What do we got in there? Mike and Ike's assorted fruit chew candy. Never been a big fan of those. This is another very thin item. Maybe a can of tuna fish. Nope, this would be, I'm guessing, makeup. I'm trying to see if it actually opens. It does not feel like it opens. Man, this is another very thin item. Let's see, what is it? Scotch. This is like a cassette tape. Oh, and there's actually a cassette tape in there. How very, very cool. That was life, man, getting those cassette tapes. Nice name brand there. All right, so this feels a little bigger and circular. Maybe it's some cheese balls. Nope, it is Diet Coke. That's a really cool can. Dig it. It's like the painting or the, the sticker. I don't know. It's it goes way up to the to the lip, almost almost just a hair too far. But I dig it, man. I dig it. All right, that was the first ball. So we have three to two to go out of the three. Come on. Yes. I had a nice one. I was afraid this little electronic security device, if you don't know what those are, those are RFD scan labels. So they can track inventory. Well, I got lucky with that ball. All right. Let's see. We have our five items. One, two, three, four, five. Some of this packaging is so small. All right, what do we got? Energizer batteries. That's pretty cool. Energizer batteries for your toys. Can't tell what that is. It's some sort of cylinder shape. Oh, what is that? Is that glue? I don't know. 
looks like maybe it's glue or some kind of makeup. My vision is not nearly good enough for that item. Okay, this is maybe another can of soda or fruit dole sliced pineapple. Interesting, unless there just wasn't the nutritional information back in the day, but uh, it's missing. So it could be that that wasn't a requirement way back then. This feels like something I don't have yet. I don't want to jinx myself and say we haven't had any dupes. Oh, this is the one I've been wanting. I am a VHS tape collector. I'm super thrilled to get this. This oh, it comes out. That's incredible. I uh, The only physical media that I collect anymore is VHS tapes. It's either VHS or digital for me. I'm so happy to get this one. Really, really happy. All right, this one. I don't think that, that doesn't feel familiar either. Oh, nice. So we have one of the Kodak instant cameras. This was a super fun thing. This was back in the day when you didn't just get to store your photos on your phone because we didn't have the phones <laughs> like that. So that's very cool. I did get a Kodak item. I was hoping for the VHS and a Kodak item. So here we go. Final ball. Let's see. I've been doing really good. I've been happy with these so far. They're opening nice. The items have all been good, kind of. And I wouldn't, if I get a dupe, I would not mind it being the VHS because uh, it would be cool just to have those on display. I do have another channel called Now It's Dark, and uh, I do a lot of horror movie reviews and unboxings for that. And uh, that's where you can see me find and show off a lot of my VHS tapes. All right, so here's our five, our beautiful retro mini brands. You can almost see right through the package. I don't know if that's coming through. Let's see what we got. Armin Armoral. I don't know why I almost said Armin Hammer. Armoral, car detail, wax, whatever, car wash stuff. Seems like that looks the same. Maybe they haven't changed the package. This is kind of soft. I wonder what this is. It's a package of gummy bears. Gummy bears. And we only have three left. Let's see what we have. Oh, is this bazooka gum? Nice. That looks very cool. That is literally what it looked like. That This is so perfectly done. It, it literally looked like this. I remember getting the gum like this. Bazooka gum. Best for blowing bubbles. And, oh, Skippy. Creamy peanut butter. That's the way. I do not like nuts in my peanut butter. I'll take a nut in my mouth without the peanut butter, and I'll take my peanut butter without a nut in it. No nut in my peanut butter. Skippy. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Man, we had no duplicates. Let's see with our last pouch if that stays true. Holy mackerel. We got a duplicate. I thought for a second it was going to be the VHS tape, but it was the cassette tape. Very close to what I was hoping. If I got a duplicate, that was what it was. But you know what? I dig it anyways. Very cool. That's going to do it for the Mini Brands Retro Series. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which was your favorites of this group. Mine was the VHS tape. And uh, maybe for nostalgia's sake, the Kodak camera. But uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comments down below.